Welcome to another video. So today we're going to answer a very common question that I get a lot of and that question is Justin, is it too late for me to learn how to swim? I don't know why people ask this question because obviously the answer is no, okay? You can learn anything at any age, but let's get into this person's specific question. So this person asks, I am 37 years old and would really like to learn how to swim. Is it too late to learn? What is the best option to learn? I have always wanted to scuba dive, okay, scuba dive, and know that won't be possible not being able to swim. Well, obviously, if you want to scuba dive, you need to learn how to swim in the water a little bit, okay? The oxygen tank will take care of the breathing part, and uh, you're going to have to adapt some things because when we say swimming, swimming in my jurisdiction means swimming along the surface of the water with some sort of stroke involved. So that usually entails front crawl and breathing techniques applied. But in this person's case, she or he is trying to learn how to scuba dive. So they're gonna be strapped to an oxygen tank and they're gonna be underneath the water and they're gonna be wearing fins and then they're gonna have that whole uh, assortment gear on and they're gonna be moving in a certain different way. But the question is, is it too late to learn? To learn. If you can learn how to ride a bike, if you can learn how to juggle, if you can learn how to speak a, a second language, it doesn't really matter what age you are at, okay? I box, okay? I'm a boxer. I started late, right? I, I picked up boxing when I was a teenager and then I stopped. Why? Because I had poor eyesight, okay? I had thick Coca-Cola glasses and I couldn't really see my opponent when I was sparring, when I took my glasses off. And then I, I wore contacts. And then obviously you can't wear contacts while you're sparring. So I had to wait many, many years later, okay, later on in life, for me to get the, the LASIK for my eyes done. And then I could pick up boxing again. But it, it took many, many years later. And did I ask myself that question? Like, oh, is it too late for me to learn boxing again now that, you know, so much time has passed? No. The thought never crossed my mind. And the same thing should be about you too. If you want to learn how to swim, if you can learn to learn, then there's, there's nothing to worry about, okay? You just need to find the right approach, the right method that suits you, okay? So in this person's case, he or she wants to learn how to scuba dive, okay? So that's a little bit of a tangent, okay? It's not exactly trying to be like a competitive swimmer or Olympic swimmer like most of you are thinking, right? This person has a specific goal that's different so if I were to teach this person how to swim you know I would apply a different a, a different style of uh, approach or a different technique involved because I know this person is not really going to be uh, swimming laps per se obviously you need to be comfortable in deep water you need to know how to breathe and blow your bubbles okay that's a, that's a fact all right you need to know how to move your arms effectively and kick your legs with or without fins and then from there, once you understand the basics, then you can, you know, put on all that scuba diving gear and then you just venture off into that tangent, okay? And that, that's my brief overview of, you know, helping this person. But, uh, you know, everyone is different. You know, we all learn differently. But the first thing you need to do is just get rid of that mindset, like, can't, is it too late to learn? I don't know why. Is it too late to learn to code? Is it too late to learn to box? Is it too late to learn to how to ride a bike? Is it too late to learn how to swim? Get rid of these self-limiting beliefs. If you want to start with step one, okay, you don't know where to begin this journey of yours, if you don't know how to swim, then what I recommend is download my free ebook, okay? I wrote this ebook by myself, okay, with my own hands. It took me several months, but I, I put my I poured my thoughts into this ebook, okay? Because I wanted to help people like you that are struggling to learn how to swim or don't know how to swim, don't know where to begin, and I had all I didn't know how to swim in the beginning of my journey a long time ago and I made all these mistakes. So I put all, I poured all my experiences and information into this book and I think you should download it right now. And it's free for you to enjoy and to read and to learn and it will give you a, a better understanding of this world, this alien world we call swimming. The link is down below. Download it now. Read it. It's free. Okay. Get it and get prepared. Prepare yourself for summer 2022 because it's coming. Okay, are you ready? I don't think so. I don't think so. You're not ready for this summer, okay? You don't know 
what to expect, okay? When you first land in the water, yeah, boom. You don't know, okay? I know, you don't. So download the book and know what I know, all right? Get it now. That's my tip for today, and thanks for watching. Bye!